and I'm 21 years old. Um, first, I just want to start off, and I'm, I'm just, I just want to start off by saying I appreciate everything that everyone is standing on the sidelines is doing, but we'll look a lot more powerful if this was shut down, closed, that gap right there was closed. Please, I know you're trying to use the building for shade and all that, but please, let's, let's, let's move on out, spread a circle out, make it a lot bigger. Because the cameras, when they show the cameras, when they show us on TV and stuff like that, they see gaps. That shows weakness. When, when we're together, gap, gap shows weakness. We need to come together and close. Close all the, come on, come on, come on, guys. I'm not cursing at nobody. Please, please. I'm gonna please. put I'm gonna put this on mute momentarily. Please. This. There you go. I'ma say we want peace and the rest of y'all <laughs> gonna right. say no more war. When I said we want peace, the rest of y'all gonna say no more war. Because Trayvon Martin getting taken advantage of like that was war. Black people killing each other is war. So when I said we want peace, you guys say no more war. Please. I, I, need, I need it to be very powerful because people are watching. You see these boys? We call them the boys, the cops. They are watching. They are recording us. We got to show that we are powerful. This guy said it, it looks like it's only 50 of us when there was about 100 of us out here, right? That's because we're not together. You understand what I'm saying? So we want peace, no more war. No justice, no peace. We want peace, no more war. Thank you. We want peace. No more war. We want peace. No more war. We want peace. No more war. And I'm just like the rest of you out here. I'm only 21 years old. I went to Central High School, graduated. Thank God, I hit 21 years old. You understand what I'm saying? Thank God, I hit 21 years old. To my brothers out here, please seek knowledge. Seek knowledge. I wasn't always. I didn't always have the courage to come up here and do something like this. You know what I'm saying? But people, people talk to me. Mr. Baraka, the next mayor, come on, talk to me. Come on. You know what I'm saying? People talk to me. People talk to me. Seek knowledge. You see, a man, a human body, there's two parts of the human body. There's your lower self, and your upper body. Come on, teach, brother. Come on. There's your lower self and your upper body. I know a lot of people come up here and, and you know, and, and, and it's important about education and the schools, and majority of the times, the teachers aren't really teaching us. And that, that's, the living, that's a living fact. I passed classes that I weren't supposed to. Come on, to talk about it. That it ain't earned to pass. The teachers aren't teaching us. You know what I'm saying? The human body, there are two parts to the human body. It's your upper self and your lower self. Right. The reason why young black men are killing each other or whoever, whatever race has the power or the ability to shoot another human being is because they don't have the self-control to control their lower self. That's right. Your lower self is where all the negative, the negative traits are. You know when you hungry and you can't control your hunger because you just have to eat? Your ability to control your hunger without robbing somebody because you're that hungry? That's controlling your lower, lower self. You understand what I'm saying to you guys? Everybody understand what I'm saying? Yes. Thank you. And I love the fact that some of us came together and tried to close this gap because we're only as powerful as we look. That's right. Because if you're powerful in one spot by yourself, no one's going to see right. your power. That's right. No one's going to know how powerful you are. Right. There's still a lot of people right here, and, behind, and back then, if y'all can spread out and make the circle stronger, y'all see how much mighty we'll look. How much powerful we'll look. I love it. I love it. I just want to commend and, and thank you. I came here yesterday. I didn't get a chance to talk, you know, and uh, a lot of people might look at me and say, oh, 
you know, he's this, he's that, but I'm educated. Come on. I, I don't have a master's or an associate's degree, but I'm educated. <laughs> because Mr. Baraka, he took me by the hand. He said, I see you're lost, man. He said, I see you're lost. I said, what do you mean I'm lost? He said, you're lost. I said, what do you mean I'm lost? You know how long it took him to get me to where I am today? Come on, a very come long on. time. A very long time. Ever then I tell you that you should be able to control yourself, that when somebody said you, uh, you African, you eat monkey hips or rice, don't fight them. No, Mr. Brother, what you talking about? I'm going to knock his teeth out. You know what I'm saying? But I don't do that no more. Come on. Because somebody taught me. And the adults, y'all got it. It takes patience. Please do not give up on us. You understand what I'm saying? Don't give up on us. A lot of you that are successful today, you have to not get, that, get, get to where you guys are today by somebody losing their patience. You all have to be patient with us. You know what I'm saying? It just take a little uh, a mind twisting. You, you just, you, you just got to get into our heads, man. Because Mr. Baraka got into my head. I give, I, give, I give all my strength, my courage that it takes for me to get up here today to Mr. Baraka. Because he looked, he could have said, that's not my child. I'm the principal of this school. That's not my duty. No, he took me by the hand like I was, I mean, brought me around his children, made me feel like I was welcome. You understand what I'm saying to you guys? Wow. That's what a lot of us need today. Right, right. We need guidance. Right. Because a lot of the guys that are shooting people today that, that we hate so much, some of you didn't grab them by the hands That's right. like Mr. Baraka grabbed them right. by the hands. That's right. So, so if we really want to stop the violence and us killing each other, please grab somebody by the hands. Please. Please. I'm not here for no show. When I'm done leaving here, I'm going to go right home and play NBA 2K because I have nothing better to do. You understand? I'm being very real with you. If I don't have anything better to do, I'm in a house playing NBA 2K. Because there's nothing better to do. Now, now there's a lot of my peers that are on the block doing a lot of things other than NBA 2K. Now they say, oh, why are you sitting in the house playing NBA 2K? No job, no this. There's the guys on the block. They, they got a job that, 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 that they will not live too long to enjoy that money. You know what I'm saying? Why would I want to scoop that low to, 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 money is very important. I'm not, I'm not saying money is not important. It's important, but we need to understand that you cannot kill one another because of money. Right. And that's the reason why they say money is the root of all evil. Because we're so hungry for money. You know, the, the brother, the brother that came up to this brother and told him, Y'all should go on the sidewalk because it looked like it's 50 of y'all out here. He's doing that because of money. Right. He loved his job. Right. Because it gave him money. <laughs> and, and, and it was an African-American guy that had the nerve to come up to him and say something like that. Right. He's supposed to take the day off, ask to leave work early to come stand in this line with us and chant with us. Right. He should be mad because that could have been his Trayvon Martin. Right. If he don't have a Trayvon Martin, he could have had a Trayvon Martin and that could have been his Trayvon Martin. Right. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. When I, when I thought, I didn't, even, I didn't even watch it. I heard. You know, to let this man free? To let the man free? What, where were the evidence? of his freedom, to let the man free, I'm hurt because we're taking advantage of. They take advantage of us. And a lot of people said it here today, you only worth this much. You think, you think we're just saying it? No, you really literally only worth this much. United States government cannot protect you black people. They will not because they cannot because you only worth this much. You're like an animal. That's why they gun us down like animals. Right. 
That's why, that's why we're locked up mentally like animals. You know, we're mentally trapped, right? You know we're all still slaves, right? Majority of us are still slaves. He said, no, 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 slavery was over a long time ago. We free now. What? Where's your freedom? Show me, where's your freedom? Where's your freedom? Come on, when I say we want peace, please, everybody say no more war. We want peace. No more war. We want peace. No more war. We want peace. No more war. And to the brothers out there, especially the brothers, man, that's my age or, or younger, please, man, be, have, or, it only take that second for your whole life to be wasted. It only take a second. A second for you to think about that wrong thing and do it. And the other second, and, and that same second that you could think about the right thing and do it. Just a second. A second to be able to maintain and control your lower self because we all have negativities about us. Our lower self. Everybody down here, no matter what is pretending, whether it's money, anger, sex, uh, 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 hunger, whatever it is, that's your lower self. That's all the negative things about a human being. We all have it. I must say, I have it too. But your ability to control your lower self, that's where your power and your strength lies. All up here. This, mind over body, M-O-B. M-O-B, mind over body. You understand what I'm saying? Mind over body. Be able to control your lower self. No more war, people. We want peace. No more war. Come on. We want peace. We want peace. No more war. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Let's get this young brother. 21 years old. Listen. 21 years old. If he can, if he can get up here and do that at 21, all of us are without excuse. Period. He can do that fresh out of high school. That means you can do it fresh off work.